Lots of you have asked about how am I actually recording my webcam. I'm not using an Elgato face cam or a Sony camera or um, a high def camera. I've been there and done that, okay? And either they were too expensive or the quality of the high def camera just was not good. The evidence is if you watch a lot of our videos from June 2021 up until around about December, you'll see the quality was kind of up and down. A lot of that was due to the lighting or just the light sensitivity of the camera. Now, I've jumped to using my iPhone and to get my iPhone to transmit to my computer, I'm using the Reincubate Camo. Now, here's the page for it, Reincubate. Go and do a search for it. You'll find it dead easy. This is not an affiliate or a sponsored video, by the way. I want to make that really, really clear, okay? I'm just showcasing to you what I do. I use a cable like this. So that's the lightning cable that goes to my phone. This is the USB-C cable that goes into my MacBook. You need to make sure you have a cable that goes directly into your computer. Don't use like an adapter. So don't have the USB-C plugged into an adapter before it goes into your computer. It just won't work at all really. So just make sure you've got a spare port for that. Now Reincubate Camo literally gives me access to my camera. Now you could quite easily put your camera on, your video camera on your phone, connect it up to your machine and it would display it on your screen and you could do a screen record. Of course you could do that, but you'll also see the settings for your phone on the left and right, which is super, super annoying. No one wants to see your buttons about is your flash on or off or do I hit record? But what you get here are so many features. I just want to show you. So Reincubate Camo allows you to use your phone as a webcam. And I am talking 1080p. And ever since I started using this for my Google, my Zoom calls, my Microsoft team, my recordings, even when I'm streaming through to OBS or anything live, People are commenting on, what camera are you using? And they assume I've invested hundreds of pounds. It's my iPhone that I already owned, that's already in my back pocket. It's on a tripod with the cables, of course, and away you go. Of course, you do need to have the Camo app as well, which you can download onto your MacBook, or you can also, uh, well, you've got to download it onto your phone as well. Now, you can't use this with a Windows machine yet. There are other solutions for that. I'm not going into that, but if you've got a Mac and you've got an iPhone, this is super top notch. Look at the features, film quality video, tune your image. Um, it is literally plug and play. I kid you not, it is that simple and easy to use. Now, I do wanna point out the fact that you have a free and a paid version. Now the free only gives you quality up until 720p. I strongly recommend if you're doing any video recording or anything like that, you go for the Pro, which is 1080p. I just paid one lifetime fee, and I'll show you that in a moment, and it was so simple, I can now have 1080p. I would like to think that 4K is coming along soon. I know they're working on that in the background, but I would love to have that come out very soon. But what you get with the Pro version is you have loads more um, uh, facilities like brightness, temperature, um, gamma, things like that. You can also rotate the feed as well. But the main, main one for me was the 1080p. Let me just show you what you get when you do open up camo. So here is, hopefully you can see that okay, make sure my face, in fact, I'm just gonna move my face a little bit because I'm right, there we go. Whoa, look how freaky that is when that, isn't, isn't that now weird if I do that? Anyway, um, so what you get over here is you can pick your phone, you can pick your mode with, you know, whether you want to go into like um, a different style or I'm just going to go for uh, emoji face. Right. Ha ha ha. How does this look, everybody? OK, um, no, we won't do that. Let's just put it back on to normal. OK, um, you can even do some funny stuff like this as well. Look, if I do hands. There you go. There you go. So if I go like that. Um, these are some fancy features that not everyone's going to want to use, if I'm totally honest. I just normally go for normal. I mean, there are, there are some funny ones here, like look, you even have Jaguar as well. So when I'm looking at it like that, if you want to play around with some of your footage, but I would say if you're doing any YouTube videos, you might just want to stick on normal. You can also change your lens, uh, your focus, your resolution. I mean, these are my settings and I tend to use it on that. I don't really mess around with a lot of these either. So look, you could go with like changing your saturation. Um, 
hold on, that one didn't really do much. Let me just change it there, Hawaii. There we go, look. So you can start to mess around with some preset settings or define your own. You can mirror your video as well. Look, it flips it around and everything like that. So really, really simple things you can do. You can add an overlay. You can even zoom in and out as well. Which, uh, you know, again, you know, it's up to you if you want to do that. Here's where the features really come in with the Pro. Because I am streaming, well, I'm sending this footage through OBS because I then use OBS for other stuff when I do my YouTube video recording and that is separate. Um, but if you wanted to, you could really start to mess around. So depending on the lighting in your room, your shutter speed, you know, you can start to mess around with how things are looking. I'm just going to take that all off for now. Your white balance, your flash level, your brightness, your hue. I mean, look, even your gamma. Look at this. Like, you know, you can start to really define how your footage is looking. And this is all with the reincubate um, camo, right? And it is super easy and simple to use. Now, what's the cost? You can go for the monthly subscription for Camo Pro. And this is if you want the 1080p, okay? And remember, you just plug it in. You make sure you've got the app on your phone open. You make sure the app is open on your Mac as well. And that's it. You're good to go. And it will appear in your OBS when you pick your camera, when you pick Zoom and you're having to pick which camera you're using. Um, Microsoft Teams, Google Meets. It doesn't work in QuickTime. I have noticed that if you're using QuickTime to do your recordings, it doesn't detect it there. But if you go through OBS, you can get around that. But what I found with Camo is you have a monthly fee of £4.39. This is in British pounds, convert it into US. Annual of 35 or lifetime for 70. I cannot stress how just jumping into the lifetime for 70 made absolute sense to me because I know I'm going to be using this and they are continuously developing and upgrading behind the scenes and this is so widely used as it is already I think this is an amazing amazing tool remember I'm not affiliated to them this is not a sponsored video in fact there is no affiliate link either this is just a true honest review of how do I record my webcam footage it's it's I can't I can't I cannot stress how easy and simple this look go away if you've got an iPhone and you've been and you're paying for webcams and then the, you're always not impressed by the quality or you're using the camera on your laptop, which is going to be atrociously bad. OK, let's be honest here. Or you're paying two, three, four hundred pounds for like uh, other types of high tech face cams or um, DLSLR cameras or whatever. You will always notice that the quality is never perfect or spot on to what you want unless you pay four or five hundred pounds, but who has four or five hundred pounds to spend on a camera? Reincubate camo, iPhone, you know, I mean, next time I upgrade my iPhone, I'll just have a better camera. You know, it, 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 things cannot get better, okay? And believe me, if you ever compare your camera to the footage you get with a normal high def camera, even a 4K high def camera, you will always notice that your iPhone even in a low light setting, is far, far better. Hey, look, I hope you like, subscribe, share and follow. And I'll see you soon.